Hey everybody, Leah Sally here with GraffitiEyes.com. Today I am going to start a whole bunch of series of videos and um, I'm going to start with showing off the difference between the Graffiti Madness kit and the Ultimate Graffiti Eyes kit. I get a lot of questions on what the difference is between the two kits um, and I guess you know the nature of the beast that most people order their face painting supplies online so they don't have a store that they can go in and play with um, stuff with products so I'm basically just gonna like play with them in front of you guys if that makes sense because I think that's kinda what people are looking for actually so um, what I'll do is I'm going to flip this camera around and I will just show you guys like what the kids look like so hold on one second here all Now, okay, so Ultimates and Graffiti Madness. So um, this was the first, both of them have three stencils in them and they come with cards, um, some art cards, but let's just open it up like as if you got it in the mail today. So let's see what we get here. A bunch of different step-by-step -step cards, different designs and the stencils, so I'm just gonna step this aside over here so you can kinda see. Okay, now I think the biggest thing that I'm gonna show you guys is the difference in the size of the stencils. So this is the madness. Whoops, a little stuck there. Okay, graffiti madness. Okay, three stencils. Look at the size difference between these guys. Okay, so first of all, there's some elements that are the same because they're graffiti elements. So I took the most popular to graffiti elements and they're on both. So you can see the dots, this half tone is super popular. This is like an extra bit, it's a little corner bit, but really when you look at these, you can see the difference in size. This kit here was developed for small eye designs, you know, like I was looking to fill that kind of target market of not not little kids anymore, but not teenagers yet, you know, so it kind of splash out and make exciting makeup. So this little bit of stencil here is the one that kind of, I don't know, got me famous or whatever, got my stencils kind of going and it's just this, this um, directional splatter element. Um, and then next is the dots here for sure. The, the half tone dots going from smaller to bigger. So these were designed specifically to do really tiny designs around the eyes. Um, but these ones here are super great because there's elements, like there's sections that you can use and you can still get this tiny eye design by just using a smaller portion of it. But with it being so much bigger than this here, you can use this for like a whole forehead on a mask and doing a superhero or something like that. So you're not trying to like line it up, line it up, line it up, you know, um, if that makes sense. So some other elements, let's see here, there's squares and squares, a little bit different. Great for Minecraft designs, right? Um, the bubbles. Madness kit. I got some bubbles in there too. You can see they're way bigger. This, I can use this as an edge and like edge out and just grab a little bit of the stencil. Um, bricks. I got bricks, smaller bricks, bigger bricks. Right? You can kind of see how these ones maybe have a little bit more of a square edge. These are a rounded edge. These ones are really great for making like um, Lego blocks, you know, like Lego men. Um, different parts, like I use both of these bricks at the same time to make like little houses, um, downtowns, you know, like you want to paint a fake downtown, buildings and high rises, and then paint like a bat symbol in front of it or something like that, right? So having like both sizes work really well. These lines here, they, people think that they line up with the bricks, they don't exactly. Um, if you do use them together, it does look really cool if you use different colors, like red for the bricks and then some um, black for the lines but these ones here I find work really well to create like a cinder block kind of look um, to my designs. The other stencil this one has the drips on it and um, if you get a little dauber you can pick up the the drips really easily. Um, 
stars. There's also some stars on this kit. So both these kits stand alone really well. Um, and then people always ask me, they're like, yo, you know, I want to try your stencils out and I'm going to buy just one pack. I'm going to buy just one pack. Which one should I buy? You know, because I've got 11 different kits. So if they have, if people have no kits yet of mine and they're always like, hey, I just want to get one pack, then I'll always say like one of these ones. Start with one of these ones because they're generic elements. They're just geometric shapes. So they're great for girls and boys. This one here has... Um, some squares you make checkerboard these are perfect for shading if you layer these ones uh, my friend Margie Cantor was showing me this trick and she's like she put down some of this honeycomb and then she layered out some of these guys in the little darker dots and it looks so tight it looks so good so I've started kind of doing that with my designs um, these little lines here if you kind of crisscross them when you're stenciling and these ones too if you do like little crisscross actions with them when you're stenciling my friend uh, Carrie Tobin, when I was in New Jersey, she showed me that little trick. Um, so these ones have more lines elements to it than these ones. But yeah, if you're going to get just one kit, I would start with one of these kits, either the Madness kit or the Ultimates. Um, then it just go depending on what you're looking for. Like these ones, they're so great, like I said, for that whole tweens eye designs all that kind of stuff whereas these ones you can totally pull off the eye designs and stuff with them too because there are areas of using smaller elements um but these ones have got the bonus of being great for arm tattoos filling in you know painting your designs and then blowing out the edges with stuff and full faces whereas these ones look my packaging too is like specific these are for like tiny spaces around the eyes or tiny spots on the cheek to accent um, little cute cheek art things, just tiny elements. So depending on what you're looking for, I personally think that this one is more versatile because you can use bits of it for smaller stuff. Um, but if you wanna get like the directional splatter, um, I've got kind of like a little shotgun blast, a splatter too, it's got some hearts, like it's got other cutie, little butterflies that are cutie, you know? It's got other little cutie elements in it too. Um, but, um, I think the most versatile generic kit that I have is the Graffiti Madness because geometric shapes, so it's not girl or boy, um, and the fact that you can use small areas of it to uh, get in for those little small eye design stuff. So that's the big difference between the two kits. And this was started as like a starter kit, so it does have extra um, step by steps in there for people um, and um, the book that I have the graffiti eyes ultimate graffiti eyes book goes through a ton of designs using these stencils specifically um, when you order the ultimates I'm going to move this out of the way so I don't confuse anybody here all but when you order the ultimates what you get is if you order from me direct from my website graffitieyes.com I also give a menu that's got some eye design ideas on it too. So it's a really nice little sturdy menu card that you can bring around with you to birthdays or just use for yourself to kind of study for some eye designs. So you get a menu and then all orders, and that's what you get when you order this kit because the designs are all using specifically elements from this kit. And then with any order from my website, so you would get this too. I've got this cool snowflake stencil. It works great for um, centerpieces for crowns or along the side or just blowing out some atmosphere in the background. So that's what I'm giving away now while I got my supplies in. And then when I run out of those, um, I'll, have, I'll have some different kinds. But um, that's what's up. And I hope that this helped. Um, what I can do, I'm going to do some other videos too to kind of talk about other kits. I'm going to show off designs and stuff like that. Um, but if you guys have um, any questions, I'm just going to scroll through here and see uh, if there is any questions that I can answer. How do I get the bonus mini stencil if I have all of the last stencil kits? Oh, okay, so how do I get this if I have all of the stencil kits? And, um, well, I 
I'm also going to, what I'm going to start doing, that's actually a really cool question, Kelly. Um, I'm going to, on Wednesdays, I'm going to do videos that um, are a video that are going to have like a bigger design that I'm going to paint for everybody and show like step by step just on video here. And what I'm going to do is have people share that video. And if you share, then you're entered to win one of these pencils and the little piece of art card that I paint on for that day. So that'll be kind of a cool little thing. So that's a good question. And that's the, my answer. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Says everybody for showing this. I have all except the music notes. Um, let's see. More tutorials with these stencils. That's what I'm going to be doing. I've got this new little setup here. So I'm going to be showing lots of different ways of using the stencil kits. Um, yay. Okay. So if there's no more questions, let me go back out here on selfie mode so you guys can see me. So there's no more questions. Um, what I'm going to do is about these kits. I'm going to um, just start up a new video and have it. I'm going to show off some of my others. I'm going to show off the emojis and the uh, happy hippie booster because those are two of my new favorites for sure. So um, stay tuned and thanks for um, joining me and watching about my two most popular kits that I have out there that are great just if you haven't bought one yet. Um, they're great ones to add to your repertoire, no matter which one you pick. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.